solve. 10x is greater than 2 times the quantity 5x plus 3. So solving an inequality is just like solving an equation where we simplify each side and I'll distribute that 2 so that we can simplify the right hand side and we get 10x on the left hand side is greater than 10x plus 6. Now right away let's just pause and look at this. If we plugged in anything for x and then added 6 to this right hand side there's no way that this right hand side would be less than what was on the left hand side. Whether we put in a positive or a negative number in for x it wouldn't matter. If we added 6, if we had some quantity uh, times 10 and then we added 6 the side that we added 6 to would not be less than uh, the, the other side. But let's go through and see mathematically what happens when we try to continue to solve this inequality. We'll subtract 10x from each side to get rid of the 10x from the left from the right hand side. And that leaves 0 on the left hand side and 6 on the right hand side. So again we get another verification. This is false. This is a false statement. 0 is certainly not greater than 6. So when you're faced with something like this, uh, typically what happens is the, um, the variable drops out and, and you get a false statement, then you can just say there is no solution to this inequality. There is no value that you could plug in for x to make this inequality true. On the other hand, if the variable dropped out and you get a true statement, let's say you got something like 5 is less than 10. Well, that would be a true statement, and then you would have uh, all real numbers would be the solutions because, because you could plug in anything for x, and it would, it would make the inequality true. But in this case, there is no value for x that you can plug in to make this inequality true. So therefore, we say there is no solution.